guys and here today on the rusty glove box what we're going to do today is we're going to put in our manual transfer switch for backup power for the house i tell you what just the other day the power went off for about five hours and i'd been dragging my feet on getting this installed so that was all i needed to get it in gear and let's get that thing installed this isn't going to be a how-to this is going to be a how i did it and maybe there'll be a few tips in here if you decide to ever put one in it might be some good information for you. So let's go over here and uh, let's check it out. One thing, I, you know, I, I put up a uh, piece of plywood, painted it, mounted my box, and I have just a limited amount of room to uh, get my wires to transition from here, this transfer switch, into my electrical box. What I opted to do is there's this uh, plastic 4x4 box and I think possibly you can see I bored about a two and a quarter inch hole back there and just drilled all through the walls in between the studs and all that so that gave me a clear passage into the wall cavity you can't really see it but I had some knockouts here in the box area and I took them out and then took a wood spade bit just a little smaller than the hole so when I pulled the wires through there's not rubbing on any sharp metal or anything and so I was able to pull all my wires through uh, three holes this box it's got 10 breakers and so you could do 10 110 uh, breakers over here on your main panel or what I opted to do was I paired these together and there's the little bridge right there for your rocker switch and uh, that'll create a 220 uh, that's going to operate a water heater and a little later we'll fire it up and I'll show you how much the water heater how much power it draws I tell you what, the rest of the house, it's got all LED bulbs and LED TVs and those things, they don't draw anything. I can turn all of that on and the needle doesn't even hardly move. So I, I was kind of concerned how much, uh, how many watts the, the water heater was going to draw, but I'm way within the safety limits on that. But anyway, what I opted to do is this is dedicated for 220 and then I've got eight other circuits here that uh, I can supply power to from the generator. What I did is all of the wires they correspond with the rocker switches or the breakers and so I tagged all their wires to that corresponding switch and I tried to keep them all tied up and back and everything, try to keep them pretty neat. So if an electrician, a real electrician, uh, gets into this box, he's not gonna just have just a heart palpitations. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail on how you hook the wires up, but it is very simple. Uh, Coming out of your transfer switch, you've got two different colored wires for your breakers. You've got a black one and a red one. What you'll do on the breakers that you choose to use generator power for, you will take the uh, black wire out of the breaker and you'll insert your red wire. and because uh, you have a red and a black that is paired together from your transfer switch is like this wire comes out of the transfer switch this other black wire would have been what came out of the breaker originally it is wire nutted to the transfer switch it sounds complicated, but it's really very simple. I was just going to do a little quick diagram on how that transfer switch works. Uh, what it does 
you've got your generator supplying power here and here is the positive lead and it goes to your transfer switch breaker to, for your generator here and then it, coming out it goes to this three position rocker switch you're going to have the generators going to go to one side of this switch you're going to have overhead power it's going to come and attach to the other side of the switch this center pin that's the one that's going to go to your light your blender your microwave whatever and what you'll do is by rocking that switch it's going to transfer power either from the generator to the light or from the power line to the light. So after we've kind of gone over all that, what I'm going to do is start buckling all this stuff up. So anyway guys, now that's how I installed it and uh, I was pretty pleased, it looks pretty good to me. And uh, so I think this is a win. So as always, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.